Greetings everyone, and welcome back to another Cheapo Tech Review, which was planned to be a random mini review, but I think I'm going to be going over 10 minutes with this one because I have a lot to cover. And as you've already seen in the title and the thumbnail, I have an Oppo MP3 player. I had no idea that Oppo made MP3 players. Well, this was about seven years ago when I found this thing. I had no idea that they had made them. I've had this Oppo MP3 player in my box of random MP3 players that all need repairing. The Oppo still works in some capacity, so I just wanted to show you all today what an Oppo MP3 player. It's not quite an MP3 player, it's a smart media player. So competing with the likes of the iPod Touch and the Zoom and other iPod wannabe things back then. But before I show you that though, also timestamps will be in the description as well because it's just ramble, ramble. I've just got three of these MP3 players in my repair box. The first one is this iPod looking thing, looking a little something like this. It doesn't charge anymore. I've had it on charge and the bezel just falls off it. So I'll just put the bezel back on there and pretend like we didn't do anything. Battery needs to be replaced in that one. Then I have this thing here, which is a, what are you again exactly? Oh, uh, you're a gammy or a jeem. This was actually included in a bundle lot that I got from someone off eBay. And once again, doesn't work, but I'd love to show you all these cheapo MP3 players because they have some funny stuff on them. And this one belonged to Alan. Hi, Alan. <laughs> Uh, but this is a Deegan, and it has one of the weirdest D-pad layouts ever. Well, can you even call this a D-pad? You got up down there, and then left right there. Two headphone jacks. Well, one's a line in, one's a line out, and battery's dead in this too. But it's got a camera on it, so I could do a full-on review with this. But yeah, they're just three that I had laying around. But time to look at this Oppo, and it's definitely going for I want to be an iPod Touch look. Sort of similar to that mini iPod that had the little home button on it. It was a little tiny one. And then you got the likeness of the older iPod touches and then the newer ones as well. I got this about seven years ago, maybe six years ago from my local flea market. I may have even done a video on it in my flea market find series, which I'm pretty sure I'm never ever gonna do a sequel to again. This right here is the Oppo Smart S33 Media Player, which supposedly retailed for $110. I think that's 110 US dollars. There's not a whole lot of information about this online. There's an AliExpress listing that's no longer in stock. And there's a couple of random websites that just list some specs and a quick little review of it. I haven't really tested this completely out. I've just charged it up with the battery that lasts about three minutes in this, quickly played around with it, reset it back to its factory settings, and I haven't done anything else with it. So that's what I want to do today is look around this thing and see what it's capable of, see what I can do. If it holds up for probably 10 bucks that I paid for the thing, I've got to take this off first, the, uh, the case, which is a nice shade of yellow. No, it's not a nice shade of yellow, but it's definitely a, an auto. <laughs> No, it's, a, it's, it's an Oppo. It's definitely an Oppo. We have the three inch touchscreen with a resolution of 480 by 272. We've got a little home button down here, which also doubles as like a notification LED. It like flashes and breathes. I'll show you that soon. Around the device, we have what looks like absolutely nothing. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that you have actually got volume up and then all the way down here, volume down. If you're using it like this, you just you can do that. Or if you're using it like that, it's kind of weird, but okay. Around the other side, we don't have anything down there, but we do have the power on button just up there. At the top, absolutely nothing. And at the bottom, we do have a micro USB port, headphone jack, and a little door for a micro SD card. I will put my 64 gig one in here just to see if it works. I don't think it will. On the back, we've got Oppo and a whole bunch of hexagons because design, MP4, S33, four gigabytes of internal storage, and five volt at 500 milliamps is the charging speed. The build for this is also just all plastic. There's no metal or anything like that. If I plug a micro USB into it, sorry about all the scratches and stuff. This is the condition I got it in, but it should come on. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that fancy? I just had no idea that Oppo actually made MP3 players all those years back. I only recently learned that Oppo made headphones as well, which was a bit weird. Watch the little button. Wait for it. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's not that impressive, but it's a cool little breathing LED. You may see on the display, slide right to unlock because everything around, what, 2006, seven, eight, nine had slide to unlock. If you wanted to be like an iPhone, you had to have the slide to unlock. Now, there's no speakers in this. I mean, I guess that's to be expected, so gotta use headphones, but here we are, we've booted up. You can't see it, but there is a little happy face, but the whole slide right thing doesn't quite work. I just press home and it works. Don't question it. For the display resolution of 480 by 272, it's not too bad to be honest. 
if it stays on for more than 10 seconds. It's really hard to tell because of all the scratches and stuff. But what I can say though, is that the OS on this is super smooth. It is really, really, really smooth and responsive. Don't worry about all these little characters and stuff. We'll get to them soon. Supposedly the OS on this is based on Flash. That's what I read up anyways. I could be completely wrong about that. It supports a whole bunch of audio formats and video formats and pictures as well. It also has an accelerometer built into it. Let's go straight into settings first. And I'm gonna put the brightness up to level five. See, low power, it does not last long. Um, I'm probably gonna have to take the battery out of this. I can still test it, just gotta have it plugged into power. If you hold power at this point in time, it yells at you, it says charging. You can also see the background, there's a little animation going on. All the little stars or fireflies? Is it fireflies, maybe? Owl City fireflies. Was that popular in 2008? Because that would make sense if it's fireflies. You would not believe your eyes if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fireflies was dancing around on an oppo screen. So we've got music, video, photo, ebook, radio, recorder, explorer, time widget, settings, magic style, and then a little jar next to it. Divination, fishing, match it, a calendar, picture, another widget there, total file num is four. Then we have dictionary, words, text speech, a little MP3 widget there. And then we've got a mushroom sitting on top of a goat with Aries 321 to 420, ruling planet man's property fire sign, lucky color, bright red. Does that mean I can check my star sign on here? That'd be fun. Then we have calculator, stopwatch, calendar, wall time, and that thing there, just, it's, it's an egg blinking at me. That's not scary at all. And search, and that is it. Let's get the first thing out of the way, music. And I have four MP3 files on here that are included on this by default. I don't have any speakers kicking around, but I'll just put some headphones in and we'll just bump it up all the way. What, whatever this is. Try the next one. Chinese songs that I'll never know the names of. Well, this is a live performance. No, oh, everyone's clapping along. Well, that sounds a bit punchy. Um, let me put the headphones on actually and press the bottom of it to turn the volume down. It doesn't sound bad at all. That's actually really good. I'm using Soul Republic Dead Mouse headphones, uh, which have a bit of extra bass in them. But no, that actually sounded really good. Now, I'm no audio guy, so I can't really say, oh yeah, it's got this and that in this and the sound is like this and that in this. I can just say it sounds good or it doesn't sound good. It sounds really good to me. If you wanna find out more information about that sort of stuff, you may have to do some digging online. Or when I tear it down and have a look at the chips, you might be able to point out something and go, oh, it's got that and that in there. We do have a speaker just there, but I don't think that's for an actual onboard speaker. No. Got a little playlist there as well. Settings icon at the top, which just has 3D low. Swing switch? What is swing switch? Okay, let's do swing switch. I'm gonna put my micro SD card in there just to see if it comes up. I don't think it will. I think it has worked. It's kind of not liking it so far. Also, why is it called a mini SD card? That's not a mini SD card. Oh, I think it worked. It did work. I just gotta give it time. It's 64 gigabytes. That's probably not supposed to be in this. Look how smooth it is though. I just can't believe how smooth it is. So let me see if it plays FLAC files. Seems to. All right, plug in my headphones. Drop the bass. I may say that FLAC doesn't work. MP3s work though. We can try BFG Division on this. All right, let me put these on and see how it sounds. Whoa, Jesus, that's loud. That's quite loud. And from testing cheapo devices with headphone jacks, they just kind of sound very meh. But with this, it's just got a bit of extra kick to it. But if I go next, does it have a little animation thing or is it just gonna break? Did I break it? Oh, okay. Accelerometer, do you work now? Wait for it. Is that what it means? Unless I do this and it switches? I don't know what swing switch is. You do this. Ah, okay, you just shake it and it goes to the next song. That's pretty cool. It can play music. That's good. Just not FLAC or else you'll get...
Machine gun? That's okay, buddy. You probably weren't intended for that. Let me go to videos now. So on the flash memory, there's nothing on here, but I do have Costa Rica in 4K 60 FPS on here. It's in MP4 format. It should play. It is at 1080p though. Let's just see what it looks like, if it actually does anything or if it just refuses to do anything. I'm just surprised it supports 64 gigabytes though. It was probably intended to have maybe eight gigabytes for 2008, 2009. That was about right, wasn't it? All right, here it is. Okay, file format error. Doesn't play AVI as well, because I've got a whole bunch of formats on here that I've recorded with several different phones. Here's 3GP. And this is the recording quality of the Servo K07, I think that's what it's called, the pen phone. And Jeez, that was years ago. Can I do it? Oh, accelerometer worked. So it plays 3GP. That's slightly helpful. Let me try this MP4 file. Oh, why doesn't it play MP4 files? They probably have to be in a certain resolution, possibly, because most of these are in 720p. Let's go to this, for example. This is MP4. Oh, there we go. MP4 does work then. It's just um, a matter of what resolution they have to be in. There were some options for video. We do have, what, fit to screen? Then I have an editor, I think. I'm not sure what I just did then, but I've cut it somehow. What does this do? Oh, that's the brightness. Okie dokie. And then settings. I a just single breath. What did that do? Ah, uh, the breathing for the LED. Too bad I couldn't have shown video at a slightly better quality. But then again, it's only gonna be at 480p, but uh, you can see the power of the accelerometer as well. Look, so far this is just shaping up to be a pretty standard music player but let's continue on because i've got photos next on the memory do we have anything oh the little cutting thing was taking a screenshot okay that makes sense now smalls are stupid don't worry i've put some photos on the micro sd card once again they're like 1920 by 1080 so it'll scale it down most likely i'm pretty sure this display doesn't have multi-touch i mean so far i haven't found any gestures or anything to do with this but you never know i might come across something else so if you go to pictures it says format error there um but i have this which i believe is at the top of my channel i think in like my channel banner that's the picture i use there and it looks fairly reasonable oh i can make it go wee see look wee and i can play music along with it too yes i can i can play music while i make an image go around in circles i say that in settings slide time slide effect auto rotate slide style and self adaption for display style well there's my logo while the only thing they fear is you plays I guess this is appropriate. Definitely no multi-touch or anything like that. It's just fixed. If I was to slide along to the next picture, I did see just before it says format error and format error. They're PNGs, um, but they don't work. I remember the filters that I used because look, I did this. Ah, yes, a fine work of art for me. Can I like shake it to make it go to the next one? No. Honestly, not a whole lot to do with photos. I could probably do different wallpapers and stuff, but I kind of like the animation that's going on. Ebook, is there anything on the flash memory? There's nothing there, but I've got something on my micro SD card. Sigil? There was a text file for Sigil, or is it Sigil? The game that John Romero recently did. Does that actually have anything in it or is it just blank? Maybe text files don't work. Moving on to radio. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Oh, you just do this? What's on Australian radio on a Wednesday afternoon? Uh oh stop buddy stop 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 i didn't press down there did i oh it's it's fine now oh no it's not it's so laggy now there's 101.9 it does work it's a bit crackly you can record the effort radio oh god this is terrible there we go Shh. um you can record the FM radio if you want to. You can also delete the FM radio. No, I don't think that's the case. Deleting the channels. So yes, you can delete the FM radio if you want to. In settings, do we have anything? Frequency and set stereo. Stereo. What does campus mean for frequency? Oh, wait, what? Now that doesn't make sense at all. Well, look, I can say that radio does work. It's just the signal isn't quite as strong as I thought it would be. But at least you've got radio on this. Recorder? Is there actually an inbuilt mic onto this though? Hello. Uh, does this have a microphone somewhere? Hello, down here? 
up here somewhere to the sides left and right i don't know i'm having an issue with putting the volume up because if you're holding it like this press volume but you're pressing power at the same time so you're kind of doing this does that make sense it doesn't make sense hello uh does this have a microphone somewhere hello down here up here somewhere to the sides left and right i don't know it works there's a microphone on this and it's just repeating. Don't know where the mic, oh yeah, the microphone's right there, just there. Also, this thing is getting incredibly hot as well, probably because I'm charging it and trying to use it at the same time. Probably not good for this. May have a swollen battery in it too. That's why I have to tear this apart and see what's going on inside of this. With basic functionality, it does work quite fine, but the comparison to an iPod Touch, is it better than an iPod Touch? Not really. If we go to Explorer though, I just thought of something. If this is running Flash, do you think it could play back Flash applications? I wonder, file encrypted? Please input password. One, two, three, four, yes. Zero, 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 zero. I love the text there too, that's cool. Zero, 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 zero. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. One, 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 yes. Okay, I don't know what that is then. I dug through my archive and I found a couple of flash files. So I'll see if they work. I don't think they will, but let's just try. You never know. What was the file format for Flash, by the way? I've forgotten. FLV? Was it FLV? It wasn't FLV. SWF. It's SWF. Shockwave. Oh, dang. Nope. SWF file. Doesn't know what to do with it. Wait, does this support Java then? That'd also be a no. So then I wonder what the built-in games are then. Can I actually move the clock? I can move the clock around. I should have probably tested that first before doing anything else, but yes, I can move the clock around and put it up there. Yeah, I'll put it back. Can I move these around? I can move these around too. It's a bit laggy there though, um, but at least I can move them around and they can fit in their own little place. And in settings as well, there's not a whole lot to do in here. Style, black, golden, or pink. Ah, black. Auto shut time is in one word there, always off. Power on password, cancel file password, USB password. And we have introduction. Thanks for choosing Oppo Smart MP4 S33. With built-in smart operation system, it has the design idea feel, free and fun. Oh, right, okay. It's just a, a thank you for purchasing this item. Default setting, language, volume control, volume control, touch calibration, system information, flush, bulk, extra bulk, SD doesn't say anything, version S33 and the serial number there. Can you unlock anything? Any bonus stuff here? Probably not. There's not much in settings. Magic style, though. Oh, magic style. So that's your whole making everything. Oh, look, the icons change. Oh, there's a bunny. Did you see the little bunny? Oh, that's cute. So then what does this little jar do? Oh, you can catch the fireflies in the jar. Oh, wait, no, it's doing the brightness. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> I can't swipe down or swipe up or anything like that. No gestures like that on this. What is divination? Okay. Yes. Uh, whatever I'm doing, there's no sound for it, um, and I'm just... What is happening? Well, that was divination. I hope you all enjoyed that. Let's try fishing. Let's not try fishing. Let's try fishing. Let's not try... <laughs> okay. Match it. Easy, middle, difficult, score, return. Easy. Oh, dear. Oh! But they're the same. But they're the same. Why can't I move the tiles? Q. Oh, you've got to do that first. Right, okay. But, the, but wait, hang on, wait, what? Beep, beep at me. Okay, so it does work, but it just doesn't work. So maybe you have to do it like... This doesn't make sense. How is it How is it that I've done them, but I can't do them? Well, this is a whole lot of fun. What's the difficult one? That seems easier, but all right. That's the games on this. 
that wasn't really exciting at all. The calendar looks like a calendar with const. Oh, constellation. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, Leo there. Scorpio, ruling planet, Pluto, property, water sign, lucky color red. Wasn't it red for everything? Oh, there, there's little arrows here. I didn't even see it. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at the little designs of the characters, though. Oh, that's what it was being. It's being Aries. Okay. Uh, so they're all star signs. Kind of a little cursed. Ah, there's a crab. Um, yeah. Oh, picture is just going to open pictures. And then I can not do too much there. Search files. I wonder if I search for BFG division if it would come up. Oh my god, I have to type like this. Uh, uh oh. B F Okay. Yeah, I can type circles in. Sure. Can I just type in Doom? D O R M I searched for Doom. I did it. Slightly painful, but that's okay. What's on the next page? Dictionary. <laughs> what? I'm so what did that just say to me? Oh, no dict king file. I thought it said no dicking file then. I was going to say, what? Excuse me? No dict king. F oh, God, say that ten times fast. Dict king. Words. I don't think there's any words. Maybe there is words. Oh, no file. What about test speech? Okay. It probably came with a micro SD card built in the box with that sort of stuff on there, possibly. Um, I can move the little widgets around. Oh, we have to try the little egg thing too. The next page has calculator. That looks kind of nifty, very old school looking. Two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maths. Stopwatch, looks like a stopwatch. Start, note. Awesome. Very basic at the end of the day, isn't it? If there was an opportunity to put more games onto this, could potentially be something, but it's just a very bare bones, smart MP3, MP4 player. Calendar, we've already taken a look at. World time is in Beijing, Hong Kong, not even close, but okie dokie. The search is basically back to search and Mr. Egg here. What do you do, buddy? Oh. So imagine you spent $110 on this back in 2008 and the features you get include watching movies, playing music, listening to the radio, looking at pictures, and poking an egg and watching it change clothes. That seems pretty fair. That's everything on this, to be fairly honest. There's not a whole lot going on with this. It's smooth for the most part, but some portions of it are laggy. Battery life I really can't comment on because it needs life support in this to last more than three minutes. Music playback is pretty good on this. That's one thing I can definitely praise on this, is the music playback. Once again, I'm no audio guy, but it could have some cool components inside of it that make it sound better. Altogether though, for an Oppo branded MP3 player, it's cool that they made MP3s, but I think phones were their best option. It's just, I had no idea that they actually made MP3 players, and there's a whole heap of them that they've made, but I've never come across another one, and I probably never will. This will probably be the only one that I'll ever have my hands on. The button placement is just so oddball. Why would you have volume up there and then volume down there? I mean, I, I get it if you're watching it like this, but it just, some of it doesn't make sense. If someone was to test this back in like 2008 or 2009, whenever this was released, probably would have had a more favorable response. I don't know, you folks tell me out there, back in the iPod days, would this have been a good competitor against the iPod Touch? You'll have to let me know. That's pretty much everything that you can do on this. It yells at me that it's charging if I want to power it off. Okay, well, we'll just take the, the headphones out. We'll take the micro USB out of it. It's toasty. Whatever processor is in this, it's, whew, it's overworking itself. At least you do have customization options. You can change the theme and all that. I didn't see an option to set the wallpaper. But you probably could within the photos. It's just I didn't spend too much time in there. Question is, how does this come apart now? Also, this would have been a lot better if it had a built-in speaker. That would have really helped this, but I guess they couldn't fit it into this, perhaps. The plastic on the back of this is extremely tight. I have a feeling there might be some hidden screws, perhaps. Found it. There is four buttons on this. So what does this button do then? This button didn't work. It's probably a reset switch because there's a little hole just in the side frame there. So it's probably a reset switch. That would most likely be it. I've got to now take out a bunch of screws. I'll do it while it's still alive. Let's see how long it lasts before it dies. You can buy new replacement batteries for this, but I think I could just solder in a new battery if I wanted to. Very interesting to see the side flexes for the buttons, how it's just one whole entire flex there on both sides. So that's pretty cool. I will say this smart media player does have some nice functions to it, but it's not too exciting. I'm just 
finally taking a look at it after so many years of having it in my collection. It's good to see what it can do and what it can't do. And I can't do a whole lot, but it can do some things. With all the screws removed, I should be able to just pull it apart now. Here we go. Oh, that battery seems... Oh, that's puffy. Yeah, <laughs> it's swollen. Uh, you've got to come out, buddy. Well, that explains why the battery doesn't hold much charge in it. Uh, 900 milliamp hours, though. But this also looks very complicated to pull apart. We do have an Alpita module just there, as well as a Hynix module. But I can't quite see what's on there because of these stickers. But hopefully I can take these little stickers off. Yep, there is the Hynix module just there. I'll have to Google that and see what that comes up with. What I'm trying to figure out, though, is how this comes apart. Let me start with the battery first. All right, awesome. I'll take off the tape that's just on the top as well. There we go. Does it need the tape? Should be right. I should have done the thumbnail of this while it was still on, but you wouldn't have been able to see the display anyways because it would have been all scratched, so it should be okay. I'll be able to work it out. There's three screws that hold down the motherboard. I was gonna rip out the board, but I've just realized there's a little flex cable there that I'm not actually too sure what that's for. Actually, I've gotta be careful with the whole thing. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought. It's fine, I think I've got it. I should be able to just, oh dear. <sighs> okay, the CPU in this is that right there. It's a rock chip. Hey, rock chip, how you going? Okay, 2712. BG is what is in here. And the home button is just attached to that just like so. Very iffy to tear this apart. Just gotta be a little bit careful with it. And I think I've been careful with it. It should survive, but at least I know the specs of this now. Honestly, if it didn't have the Oppo branding, I would say this is just another generic smart media player. I'm actually gonna solder the battery back into this just temporarily. It's half back together. So I'll just see if it still does power on. It still works. Okay, good. I can take the thumbnail now and not have to worry about that. I guess I can display some specs to the side. Don't mind all the bits and pieces in the background. Uh, it's perfectly fine, but that gives you an idea of what's in this thing. I'll take the battery out after I've done the thumbnail because it just lasts three seconds and then it dies. But yeah, that's having a look at the Oppo S33 media player thing. I've wanted to look at it for a while. It's been on my to-do list and I just figured may as well take a look at it and see if it's any good and it's it's okay. I actually don't know the origins of Oppo. I've never looked it up. I should have a look and see what their first batch of electronics were. Be interesting to see. I hope you've all thoroughly enjoyed this one. Even though it was just a cheapy MP3 player, I thought it was interesting that Oppo made media players. It was just good to take a look at one to see how it worked and I think I've done that today. But yeah, you'll have to let me know what would you have rather back in the day. This or an iPod Touch. The iPod Touch probably would have been about three times more expensive, but it would have been worth it. You've made it to the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching this one. Yeah, I'm sorry it wasn't anything too special. Like while I was filming, I noticed that the media player itself just wasn't really that exciting. I just thought there might've been more features and stuff, but unfortunately it is what it is. If you've made it to the end without using the timestamps, thank you so much. But if you had to use them, I completely understand why, because this review is all over the place. No structure within this one. I just went into it just film and here we are. As I said, this was on my to-do list. I wanted to get it out of the way and I've done that. If you do want to see the other media players that I have, I'll have to repair them, but if you do want to see them, let me know and I can do a video on them much later down the track. Much, much later down the track. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching again. I really do appreciate it. And as always, take care, stay safe, be good people. I'll see you all in the next video, which will be something cheaper or random or random and cheaper. But in the meantime, keep being awesome and I'll see you all soon. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.